No morning walk video today, but I did want to make a video. I've barely slept in the last three days. I have a lot on my plate. Dying family members, uncomfortable marriage I'm having to sort through, a lot of problems right now, and the activism I do, caring about our people, doing white positive activism, it's... It's tied directly to the patriotic activism I do, but it's difficult for me because the people that are in my life right now, the few people I have left, they want me to disengage and pull away from all of this because they feel like they're losing me to it, and they're right to feel that way. I was on a very long stream with the cabal in Uzulu yesterday. It was challenging knowing that I was missing some important family things to participate in that stream because I felt like it was important and I wanted to get my words of encouragement and de dedication to patriotism and the Constitution and all the other good stuff that I think we should fight for here in America. I devoted my almost my entire day to it, and I missed out. I lost almost the entirety of a very meaningful and enriching experience that I could have had with my husband and our family. And the thing that's sad about that is I'm not sorry, and I still feel like I did the right thing. And today we're going to be taking down Christmas decorations together. And I feel like, I feel like this, this little problem of mine that I've been having lately, where I feel pulled between spending time with my loved ones and doing what most people would say, focus on what really matters, family taking care of your loved ones, your, your the, especially the elderly ones that are sick and literally need your help. They say, people know that that's important, right? But there are going to be many of us like me going forward who are aware of all of this that realize if we aren't willing to give our time, our energy, our money towards doing activism, giving of ourselves, towards something bigger than our family or our pets or children or whatever. We won't have a future to enjoy those things. And 2021 is not going to be easy. Trump or no Trump, it doesn't matter. We know that they already call us all of the horrible anti-white slurs of Nazi and white supremacist and racist and all these other things. And the optics of that are quickly going to stop mattering because everyone going forward who cares about anything that isn't the globalist narrative is going to be put into that group. I've been talking about it for over a year. Dozens of creators that probably most of my viewers follow have been talking about it for years about how just being white or being male itself is grounds to be deemed other or dangerous or part of some evil system of oppression. It's, of course, all false. It's part of the anti-Western, anti-white narrative. And we are going to have to realize we must give up parts of our peace, of our private lives, of our time, of our resources, because if we do not start acting together and coordinating small community groups networking, nationalist activism. It doesn't matter how many hours that you spend with your loved ones or your children. We will have no future. None. I don't mean a bad future. I mean no future. There, I've done videos. Jason Kuhn has done videos. At least six people that I follow have done videos about the upcoming, um, let's call it the New World Order becoming manifest via, via the... Um, the globalist governments. In the West, that specifically is an anti-white government. It is going to profile people who are Caucasian, European people, and make them 
not not just an unprotected class, but a villainized class. That will happen in our countries if we don't coordinate together and fight it. Many of you say that it's inevitable and we have to focus on the collapse. I'm still not there yet. Despite how things look with the American election, I am not willing to give up on our government, on our constitution, and perhaps that's a little bit of an eternal Anglo in me, I don't know, but I'm unwilling to give up on that stuff yet, and I encourage all of you to not give up on it yet either. I think that this year we are going to see very hard times. We're going to see violence and coordinated unrest on our side that is unprecedented because normally those of us who care about conservative traditional things we want to be left alone we just want to grill uh you know we want to just stay in our mountain holler or in our part of the city and not be affected well we don't have that choice anymore and i think that this year if we don't get strong voices of leadership out among the patriots like we need people rallying together and talking about tactics being orderly, how to comport yourself, how to talk, how to live, how to fight back. Because many people are going to become angry and disenfranchised and maybe do stupid things, maybe get angry and throw their lives away. We already have millions of working class whites in America that they feel like they're at the end of their rope with the lockdowns and the scamdemic and the years of being called evil racist, evil racist, Nazi bigot, all that stuff. We have so many millions of our people that are at the end of their rope. We need to take them the curative contagion. Talk to them about what really matters. Identify with them about how white guilt is evil. And that men, especially white men, are the ones that built our country and our legacy. That European people, white people, are the ones that made this country. We are the inheritors of it. We made Western civilization. It's for us. This is the curative contagion. Helping people go free of the anti-white narrative. That is what will help with the majority of these disenfranchised MAGA voters and patriots and Republicans. You can do that by spreading the curative contagion. We can't all be Viking warriors. We can't all be at the forefront of movements, going to cities and fighting corrupt governments. Not even that that's wise most of the time. I think most of the time that's not a good idea. But we can't all be that kind of hero. But we all must be the kind of hero that we need, which is mentors, confidants, uh, great parents, great children, if you're young listening to this. Be the heroes that our people need going forward. And that doesn't mean throwing yourself away by fighting the government or getting killed, bashing it up with the Antifa or the police. It means doing what is necessary for our people to not just survive, but have a future worth living and taking back our damn countries. And I think I've talked long enough, but I wanted to say these things. I wanted to let you know that even, even though my marriage is on the rocks, my family life is terrible, I've lost almost everything that I've tried to build in the last 10 or 12 years, I still am giving of myself to this, to the movement to nationalism, to us having a future, and you all need to do it too. I'm not saying you have to go all of, all in, but every one of you needs to give at least a little bit of your time and a little bit of your resources, if you can spare any, of course. If you don't have any extra income, keep it for yourself and your loved ones. But everyone needs to get involved with nationalist, patriotic, white positive activism because we are all in this together, whether you think you are or not. If you are a Western person, if you are Caucasian, European, white, whatever word you want to call that, we are in the same boat together. And our people are going to find that out the hard way if we don't prepare them. And we all need to do what we can. Spread love. Spread hope. Take the curative contagion of hope and redemption to everyone who has the ears to hear it. And give at least a little bit of your time to, to, to activism. I have tutorials on my channel about how to send letters and type emails and make phone calls. I will be doing more of those as, as 2021 unfolds. And we have to put all of us together going forward because our enemies are bigger than us. They may be stronger than us in some ways, but not in the ways of spirit, dedication, and will. We are a great people, and we will prevail. 
We just have to seize our destiny. I'm going to wrap it up. Keep heart, everybody. Fight smart. Don't throw yourself away. Make your actions matter. I think you matter. We all matter. We have to let each other know that. We have to have solidarity. 